Hey, Alex here at mixinglessons.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at the threshold setting on a compressor. When you first get into grips with compression, it can sometimes be a little bit tricky to get your head around exactly what each of the different parameters on your compressor does. So over the next few videos, we're going to have a look at each parameter individually, and in this video, we're going to look at threshold. So your threshold lets you set the point at which anything louder than this point should be turned down by the compressor, and anything below this point shouldn't be turned down by the compressor. Now, let's have a quick look at that in action. This compression plugin is actually really useful for this because it shows us quite a lot of different things. First and foremost, it shows us the input level, so that's the level of the signal that's coming into the compressor. It also shows us the output level, so that's the level of the signal that's coming out of the compressor. It shows us how much gain reduction is being applied, or in other words, how much the signal is being turned down by the compressor. But crucially, it also shows us where the threshold is. So you'll notice that as we adjust the threshold setting on the compressor, this little orange triangle moves to show you where the threshold is in relation to the incoming signal. So let's send some signal into this compressor and let's have a look at this in action. Now you can see there that the input and the output are exactly the same. That's because no compression is being applied. None of the signal is being turned down. And that's because all of the signal at the minute is below the level of the threshold. Now the compressor will only turn down parts of the signal which get louder than the threshold. So let's have a look at what happens when we lower the threshold. You can see now that the output is lower than the input and that's because some of the signal is going above the threshold and the compressor is turning that part of the signal down. And of course by bypassing the compressor to do a quick before and after we can also hear that the signal is being turned down. So that's what the threshold setting does on your compressor. It lets you set the point at which anything that goes louder than this point will be turned down by the compressor. And anything that's quieter than this point will not be turned down by the compressor. Now, depending on the compression plugin that you use, you'll interact with the threshold setting in one of two ways. It'll either be like this plugin, where you have a threshold parameter and you can dial in that threshold setting to wherever you want. Alternatively, your plugin might not have a threshold parameter and instead it'll have an input parameter. Now in this case, your threshold setting is fixed at a certain level and you can't change that. Instead what you do is you use the input parameter to control how much the signal is overshooting the fixed threshold. In either case, the threshold is still doing the same job, it's still setting the point at which anything above this point will be turned down by the compressor. You just interact with the threshold in one of two different ways depending on the plugin that you're using. So I hope you found that useful. If you want to get a bit of a head start with compression, then head over to mixinglessons.com slash free dash downloads and download your free copy of my compression cheat sheet. It covers what all of the different parameters on a compressor do, the threshold, the ratio, the attack, the release, the knee, and so on. And it shows you how to use each of those parameters to give tracks more punch or make tracks fatter or make tracks more balanced. So it's a really, really useful cheat sheet. It's completely free and it also comes bundled with a free EQ settings cheat sheet and a free vocal recording guide, which I think you'll find really useful. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe for future videos and I'll see you next time.